Today's conference is on women and poverty, a human rights perspective. Through this conference, we'll be discussing, looking uh, on ways to move from mere formal equality to substantial equality. We'd better be talking to the people who are at this conference. There are more than 80 people from uh, seven or eight different countries in Eastern and Southern and Western Africa, from the United Nations, the World Bank, from the Kenyan uh, Human Rights Commission and the Ken Kenyan uh, Gender Commission, the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court of Rwanda, the uh, Rwanda Minister for Gender and the First Lady of Rwanda. And if you get those people in the same room, we've got the potential to learn from them. Well, I must say, firstly, I think that we need to talk more about human rights and more about culture. For example, one of the things that have come out is what things have worked in Rwanda that other countries can adapt. And I think that you have made some wonderful and amazing strides, and I must see how we can adapt in other countries. The Rwandan women have an amazing story. There is no country in the world that has a majority of women in parliament, and Rwanda does. The powerful nature of the contribution of women together with men after the genocide against the Tutsi has been amazing, and people like to hear that story. The reason for having human rights is almost always when the political process doesn't deliver what it should be delivering. And when the political process is not delivering what it should be delivering, we need to look to alternative sources. I think the improvement of poor women must be based on evidence-based research. We are researchers who can inform um, policy, public action, on the basis of the research that we do. And that's how we come in as a University of Rwanda. Uh, first of all, um, I have to say that this is a very interesting reach in terms of uh, um, the junction between policy and uh, academia. And for that, it's raising um, uh, important questions of when, wh where do we go from here? What is the role of the state in women economic empowerment? Well, I think these sorts of conferences are very important because they're, firstly, they bring together different sectors of, um, of the community. You have um, people from NGO backgrounds, you have academics, you have lawyers, you have judges. So it is a good opportunity for the exchange of views, for hearing what other people are worried about. A cross-cutting theme or challenge is the importance of changing norms and attitudes, which has been an important theme as well at this conference. It is important to come together and discuss these issues learn from each other, try to find uh, common solutions uh, that are sustainable and that can be applied to many other uh, societies.